Hi Scrubs, hope you're well. So we're back in Horse Riding Tales and today is going to finally be the day that we get north, okay? This has been something that we've been working on forever, but um, I'm still sick at the minute. You can probably hear it in my voice. And uh, But in that time, I have been leveling up my pet Ruby as much as I can. Uh, we'd already finished leveling up Galaxy and Raven and uh, now we just have to finish Ruby and then we can send off for north. So let's get started. Just before we head off to train Ruby again here, I'm going to level up my club. As you can see, we're on 14,028 uh, points and uh, we just need to click on the level up button here. Congratulations, your club has leveled up to level four. So now I need to get to level five, which I need 17,000 points for. I think we get a reward for that as well. And then I think I can expand my club. Okay, I'm going to do the last of Ruby's uh, trick training right now because she's on level 99 for crawl. So we're going to go and finish this. Okay, we're nearly finished here with this one, and this will give us 50 more XP for her. Um, she's been getting it every time she's done one of these. Okay, so she has unlocked that trick. She will have gained XP, because every time I did a trick training, I got 50 XP with her, so it's helped to level her up a little bit. I want to go and have a look at the trick itself. Where is she? Oh, okay, I don't know where she is. I'll go back to the stable and we'll forget her. There she is, right. Right, Ruby, let's see your new trick here before we do any more training with you. Okay, so there's a crawl. Oh, so she does like a couple of steps of it. Okay, let's see that again. Okay. Now from here. I thought she'd like crawl for longer. I don't know why. Okay, so Ruby here is really close. As you can see, she's got a quarter of her star left here on the set training. So she's done this training 99 times. We're gonna do one more. That'll bring us to 100. And hopefully this will get us just a little bit closer because obviously every time with the 50 XP and then she'll unlock that trick as well. The other thing that I quite like about this training is the fact that it also gives me club points as well because that is one thing that I've really needed uh, trying to work up with my club and try and level it up so I can unlock it for more people and things like that. But uh, yeah, this has been a good way to do it because it's been, uh, I think there's been double points with this so it's helped. Okay, so that's finished that. We've now unlocked that particular trick with her sit and it's also given us more XP for her overall progress. Okay, so I have been collecting my gems from daily login. I have got 85 gems. We're gonna use the last of it because now we just need 84 to finish Ruby. As you can see, she's just got that little bit of progress left on, on her star to do. So now we can hire a trainer to finally finish her. And then we can go off to get north. I don't know how easy it's going to be to get north because I remember one of the previous missions that we had to do, it took us like 10 hours or something to do it and we had a really low chance of doing it. So I don't know how low our chances are going to be. I don't know how many times we might have to do the mission or if we'll be really lucky and manage to do it once. So Raven, Ruby and Galaxy will be the pets that will be going off to do that mission for me. So I don't know how long it's going to take. Um, I guess we're going to have to find out, but... It'll be interesting to see. Okay, Ruby is now a level 100. This has taken us such a long time, but I'm so pleased that we finally got her there. Um, and now we can do what we've all been waiting for and send her off to go in search of uh, North. So let's go on in here to the pet quests. Right, the last encounter. Returning to the farm, your pets find that all the festivities have come to an end and the farm itself is completely abandoned. Though all their training, one of your pets managed to pick up Margaret's scent and begins to follow the vehicle tracks, leading to the nearby riverbank. Just as they arrive, you see Margaret and Vanessa push off uh, from the riverbed. Doing their best, your pets rush to cut them off at the overpass. With a well-timed leap, they land on the raft, nearly causing Vanessa to fall overboard. Sailing through some dangerous waters, they'll make their way to the stream that leads to the tunnels. With a deep breath, Margaret steers them down into the dark pools that lead below. This sounds pretty ominous right now. I don't know, <laughs> are we going to be okay? Far beneath the crust of the earth, Sam and North have made a campfire to warm themselves. Taking turns to stand watch in the dark, they begin to hear scuttling just outside the glow of the campfire. It starts to get louder, when up against the rocks comes floating Margaret and Vanessa. Sam is delighted to see that they have followed through with this plan, as he requested that she bring the last of the food supplies in an attempt to trap the creature. Scratching his beard though, he wonders how they knew where to find him. After all, he is not sure where he is himself. But out from behind Vanessa jumps your pets to greet him. Lifting his heavy heart, using all uh, this food as bait feels foolish. However, protecting the townspeople has to come first. For after all, dragons and their greed are always drawn to large hordes of food. 
I don't think I really want to lure a dragon in here right now. I think this sounds like a terrible idea, but I guess we have to do it if we have any chance of saving the town. What to do with the large what to do with the dragon once it arrives is an entirely different puzzle altogether. Placing the last of the food supplies at the entrance of the cave, Sam slowly backs away to find cover, when all of a sudden he feels his legs get pulled out from beneath him. Being lifted into the air, the serpent like creature raises out of the water with uh, what appears to be a person standing mounted on its head. Dangling upside down and disoriented, Sam tries to identify the rider, but the face is concealed in a shroud of darkness. That sounds ominous. Charging forward, North manages to catch the dragon off guard as he bites into the serpent's hide, causing it to drop Sam. Without any warning, the dragon sends the Frisian sailing through the air with a crack of its thick tail. Everyone goes silent as the horse comes crashing into the shallow pool below. Disoriented by the impact, North kicks wildly as he gets back to his feet. Rearing his front legs in the air, while whipping his head around wildly, he makes a loud call that echoes through the chambers. However, instead of running straight at the base, North hesitates as he stares back at the dragon. Then suddenly remembering the armory, armory from earlier, he makes a swift turn with his hind legs. Splashing water into the air as he gallops off with a cunning look in his eye, dropping his head low enough to pick Sam up as he charges past. Vanessa frozen stiff from the sight of the events unfolding, she digs deep and begins to whisper a song to herself. Slowly building up the courage, she starts singing the most beautiful melody, hearkening to songs of old. Reverberating um, from the cave walls, the halls become filled with the sound of historical voices. Tiny droplets begin to lift from the surface of the water as the sound uh, ripples across the pools. The giant wyvern appears to be deeply affected by the melody, shaking its head and stumbles sidewards into the rocks as it struggles to remain upright. To this, a loud shrill cry comes from its rider that has the reins are pulled to reawaken the creature. Your pets scurry up the monster to try and get at the rider, only to be blasted out of the tunnels by its enormous wings. This isn't looking too good right now. I hope... I'm not sure what North's up to, but I hope whatever North's plans are, that they're going to work. Because right now, I don't know if our pets can like deal with this dragon. It's pretty serious right now. I don't know. Are your pets ready to return and make their last stand to keep the dragon at bay? Mm, okay. I guess we're going to have to... Uh, take them in and see how they do right so first of all we need ruby we also need galaxy and then we need raven i don't think any of them have mounted no 32 percent chance i don't know if we're going to manage this the first time we do it it only takes 60 minutes though so at least i can retry it quite easily so we've got 60 minutes to wait and then come back and see if we manage to do it Okay, we've completed this. Let's go and see if we've managed to do it. Have you guys managed to do it? They have! Oh my god. Okay, that was first time. I'm actually really pleased that I did not expect them to do it the first time. Why does Ruby say 99 still? <laughs> You're level 100. Why do you still say 99? But whatever. Okay, so there's our black pearls. We've got those. And uh, where's North? Story mission. Well done, you finished the story missions and unlocked North. Yes! Finally, let's go ahead and claim North. You've received North. Okay, we're going to go and have to have a look at North because we've been waiting for this moment for such a long time. So I think it's about time that we went and had a look and seen what North actually looks like and bring them out of the stable. So let's go and do that. There's North. Oh my god! I can't believe this. Right, I'm giving North a stable hand for sure. So sign a stable hand. Once you have used a stable hand, you cannot assign it to another stable unless you sell the stable he is currently, currently working on. Okay. There we go. So North is permanently happy. Oh my god. This is so cool. I'm so happy to finally have this horse. It's taken such a long time and it's a horse I've always really adored. Can we actually change the accessories? Oh, we can! So we can literally take everything off north, I think. Could we take your bridle off you? Right, that's the armor. I'm not sure which one that is. That's the saddle. Okay, so I think I could take... Yeah, I think I can only do that. I don't think I can take everything. 
by the looks of it. It doesn't look like I could actually take the bridle off. But that's absolutely fine. Alright, let's have a look at your stats. So North Fantasy. So the base stamina is 2, stamina regen and then stamina gain. Fantasy. So cross country, race, jump is 7, control is 9, and speed is 20. So the traits of the North that I have are sassy, quirky, and swift. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give North some apples. Because I would like to level them up a little bit. I'll not like give them too many. I just want to give them a couple just to level them up a little bit. And uh, then we'll take North outside and actually see how we get on here. Right, I think we'll take you out now. Oh my god! This is this is just this is like uh, this is amazing. This is like I've liked this horse for such a long time. To finally have it just feels insane. Look at it! Like, look, look at the fact that it has like this little like thing going on behind it. it just looks so cool. I'm gonna run into everything now. I'm sorry, North. I'm really sorry. Ah, okay. I'm trying to like control the camera, and it's proving to be a little bit difficult. Oh my god! This is brilliant. This has taken such a long time. I'm super happy about it, though. To finally have this horse. It is worth it. It's definitely worth it. I just... I don't know why. I was sitting thinking, does North have wings? The North doesn't have wings. It'd be cool if North did have wings. So it would be. But it's so nice. Ooh, okay, that's another wall. <laughs> Let's go over here where there's less walls. There's too many walls over here right now and it's getting us messed up running into every little thing I can't believe we finally have this horse uh where's the I think I have the pirouette don't I yeah I do the Frisian looks really like majestic with that I can't believe that we finally have this horse. It's just taken such a long time. I don't even want to think about how long it's taken. It's taken forever. <laughs> Honestly. I really wish we had a photo mode in this game because I feel like that is the one thing I am missing. But yeah, I'm super pleased. Super pleased that we finally have this horse. It's just... It feels like it took forever. <laughs> It did. It basically did. <laughs> it did kind of take us a long, long time. I know it's been, you know, it's it's taken us such a long time to get this horse. And I know at times it felt like it would never happen as well. But it finally has. And I'm super pleased. So, yeah. Uh, obviously, I don't think you can change the name of North. I think a couple of you mentioned that you can't change the name of North. So... I'm not going to, or even attempt to. I'm just going to keep it as North. So this is our little North. And uh, the only thing missing is I feel like I really wish I had that particular really nice outfit that I liked. Um, because it's like one of my favourites and I think it would really suit this horse. But uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Um, let me know what you think of North. And uh, let me know if any of you have got North already or if you're going to get North soon. But anyway, Scrubs, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you've had a lovely day. And bye-bye.